everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to revisit the Ring Alarm. This is a requested video. I originally did the Ring Alarm video where I uh, took a look, first look at it and talked about installing it and how it worked and everything. And uh, I got a lot of requests to revisit it after I've used it for a while. And, and it's probably been about eight months now, give or take. And uh, so here we are. And right out of the gate, let me just say that nothing has changed my mind. This is an amazing setup. It's affordable, very functional. I really love it. And when you marry it together with the ring doorbell, it, it just really makes my house feel that much more uh, secured. So I, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the, the functionality has been great. Now, I don't pay for monitoring. Why don't I pay for monitoring? Well, why should I? Everything that happens to this, I get notified on my computer, I get notified on my phone, I get notified on my watch. My wife gets all, all of those notifications. My sons get all of those notifications. It's being monitored. I don't need to pay somebody to do that. So nothing has changed. I still think this is a winner. Easy to install, super affordable, and will make your home that much more secure. Now that's not to say there hasn't been a chink in the armor because there has. At least three separate occasions, the keypad has stopped working. Now it wasn't a big deal. It was a very easy thing to correct. And the alarm still functioned fine, but to arm it, disarm it, you had to use your phone. Um, the, the little keypad right here would not take any keystrokes and it's actually frozen out right now and I'm gonna show you that and fix it right here. Okay, you can see in here that the keypad is not responding to any of the key pushes. It's pretty much dead in the water. It'll still work with the uh, phone app but the keypad, dead. Now you see right here by this little barcode, there's a little hole. I'm just gonna take a toothpick and push in there and hold for a few seconds. You'll see the light on the front of the keypad light up. And really, that's all there is to it. Just put it back in its holder and you're back in business. Make sure the cord's in its groove. All right, so we'll slide it back in there. And now we can go ahead, test it. And you can see and hear that the keys are responding now. Okay, you can see that it's not a real big deal to, to fix that. And uh, my research into what is going on has not really given me any definitive answers. I saw somewhere uh, somebody had posted something that Ring was saying it was a... Um, a way of going into safe mode and that this needed to be reset periodically and that was basically its way of telling you to do it. I don't believe that it sounds like a bunch of hogwash to me, um, but I don't really have a definitive answer to why it's doing it. But it does it so infrequently and it's so simple to fix that it really is not anything that overrides all the benefits of this alarm. So I am still giving it a two thumbs up and a highest recommendation I can. I love this thing. Um, if, if that was something that was occurring more like every week, it would get annoying quick and I would have to maybe reconsider my position, but that's not the case. So end of the day, the Ring Alarm is a fabulous value in home security, and I highly recommend you couple it with a Ring uh, doorbell out in the front, and I, I think you're going to be just super happy with the whole setup, and you're going to feel a lot safer in your home. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, ask any questions, make any comments. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions wishing you the most amazing day and saying, be good.